Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 168. And for this segment, I bought another Acura prototype, this time the uh, a P2 Acura. To be different, I don't know. I, I, there's not much options for North American prototypes, so I just went with this. There's only one P1 car, and I'm kind of using it for the R1 Championship, so... I went for a P2 car, but... I am going to take the restrictors off this because I've already tested this and I kind of need to take the restrictors off of this. So, yeah, we're, we're just going to do that. Raise this horsepower up basically into P1 territory here. And uh, there we go. Our, our car is now pretty much a P1 car as far as uh, power delivery and shit. So, let's get racing. And finally, finally finish A, the North American Tour, and B, the semi-pro section with the R1 North American Tour. Holy fucking shit, it's, it's time. So, what you see here are the only seven North American R1 cars in this game. Which is why I went with the car that other people were using. And because of which, we're going to have two, we're going to have th four P2 Acuras, one P1 Acura. Although with the restrictors off, it's basically two P1, three P2, and then Cadillac and two Painoses, a Lamal. So we're gonna be racing at Laguna Seca, Sedona Club Reverse, all right, Peninsula Reverse, Road Atlanta, and Sebring Short to close out the North American Tour. So let's get started. Okay, will attempt number five be the success? This is just race one. Like, God damn it. Hopefully, um, every race after this doesn't go nearly this fucking terrible. Because this is fucking atrocious right here. Don't even think about it, Williams. Thank you. So, the thing I'm having the biggest issue with is, uh, braking. As in, I keep braking a lot later than the AI and smashing my f the front of my car with the back of their cars. Also, the retard dives are real. But they're almost necessary. At least on everybody that isn't Davis. Okay, maybe even Davis it might be necessary. Just to ignore that slight bit of damage we have and move onward. Alright, what's the gap? One and a half. We got five seconds. Five seconds. Five laps. We got five seconds, close a one second gap. First couple sectors, not really going to gain any time. Because I'm fairly bad through the first, like, half a lap compared to the AI. And then we get out of turn six, and that's where I start closing the gap. Go, car, go. Okay, gained about half a second that lap. Gude. I will take that. Be very careful on the throttle in third gear. And fourth gear, really any gear. Just gotta be very careful on the throttle no matter what. Ok. 
careful. Almost lost it in the exit. Whoa. Speaking of almost losing it. A little bit of a power slide. But I did close the gap this lap by six tenths. Ooh, cheeky dive into the hairpin. Gonna drive. Oh, I was in fourth gear. I thought I was in third. No. No wonder I could apply the throttle with not much wheel spin. Oh shit! Chopping the nose a little bit. Got the pass. All right. We have taken the lead. Now I just have to hold it. I.e. just don't go off track and I'll be fine. Also don't do that. He has a cheeky Nando's. Good cheeky Nando's kick. Except I didn't kick him. Two to go. Point six two four. That's like four twenty six backwards. Test drive. Meh. Then suddenly. Shit, careful. Be very, very careful. I'm hunting winds. <laughs> Shut up, me. What is my damage at? 5% on the side. Okay. Oh, god damn it, I did it again. I freaking. Instead of pushing the clutch, I pushed the telemetry off button. Once again, complete different side of the controller, yet I managed to do this twice. Uh. Oh, hello. Doing the thing I said I shouldn't do. Go off track. The spaghetti final lap is real. Help. Help me. Keep it composed for another half a lap. Okay, around the final turn. And... Victory. Okay, that took, um, five tries. <laughs> we finally got it. Hooray! That means we can finally move on to the second race of five. Finally. Oh, I see Taylor had some issues, and, uh, he, he finished last. Well then. Sucks to be you. Ha 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 ha. I don't fucking know. Okay, race one complete. Let us move on to race number two, finally. Okay, let us hope race two goes so much smoother than race one. Helps a little bit that we're racing at Sedona Club. Which is my personal favorite circuit in this game, so you know. Let's see, alright, clear. 
everyone behind me. Thought about diving underneath Taylor there, breaking for the chicane, but wasn't sure exactly when he was going to break. So instead, I'll do this. Pass him into this hairpin. Maybe. He's still on my left. He's got the advantage. And now he doesn't. Alright, got him. And now we set our sights on Taylor. Hey, Harry. So we race in immersion mode. Because immersion mode is fun. Two different lines. Oh god. I never did hit my line correctly. I just kept going wide and wide and wide. That understeer, man. That understeer caused by probably taking the turn a little bit too quickly. Okay, just break early for this so A, I don't go flying off into the sticky grass, and B, I don't go flying into the ass of the car in front. Immerse the sun. Doo 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 doo. Should play R Racing Evolution. I mean, I'm gonna LP it one day. I've like pl casually played through like the campaign and shit. It's a good game. Okay, problem I have here is I'm not really, uh, Getting runs in good overtake spots. Oh yeah. Shouldn't have went for that. He was gonna cut me off, definitely. Oh well, I tried. There was an attempt. It's okay, I got five more laps to figure this out. It's not like I'm, you know, off the pace at all. Oh, gotta run. This is my moment. Up over the crest. There we go. Just had to get in the right place at the right time. And I did. Bouncy. Okay, and now we lead this bitch for four laps. Enjoying the drive. No, no, it's still sticky grass here, Denny. It's just incredibly, like, fucking dry sticky grass. Like, holy shit, the turf here is so damn dry. In most places. It's Arizona, yo. It's the dessert. But this track doesn't officially, like, locate. Isn't officially located in Arizona. But it is in a canyon E area. So, you know. Bah. And I pulled the fuck away. <laughs> Hooray. I'm kind of stuck at, like, a crossroads here, because, like, without the restrictors, I pull the fuck away, but with the restrictors, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't stand a chance against Davis. Like, it's only a hundred horsepower difference, but that's quite a bit on these prototypes. Hey, Q. Welcome to the Acura Hour, sponsored by Acura. Alright, two to go. Okay, actually this one I might have gotten away with without, uh, with the restrictors on. Hmm. Because I'm lapping a lot quicker than uh, Davis.
No. Maybe depending on where we race next, I'll ter try taking the restrictors off. Or, I mean, putting the restrictors back on. I have the restrictors off right now. Duh. That's why I'm going so damn fast. I don't want to be like the other Forza LPers in, you know, going super easy mode. That's not me. Yeah, here I am. Super easy mode right now. Even though driving this car isn't all that easy. Seeing how much lap I can get out of this, or how much time. It's a little early in the brakes. Oh, and invalidated lap. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so that was a lot easier. Whoops. Holy shit. Yeah, um. Damn near four seconds a lap faster. Holy shit. So yeah, I, I think depending on the uh, location of the next race, I'm taking the restrictor or putting the restrictors back on. Holy fuck. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, the rest of the field is uh, working on finishing. You know, the, the P2 cars and the older P1 cars and the Cadillac and the Panos. So, there we go. Two races down, three to go. Let's go, go to round three. I have a dilemma. Basically, I have to choose... Like, I need to be more patient, but at the same time, I can't. Because if I am patient with passing these guys, then uh, Davis is probably going to get away. And I can't have that. Fucking Miller just shooting straight in the second this time. Play no games. Okay, car, please stop sliding for the love of God. Okay, other than that big slide, we, we made it through uh, the transition unscathed. So that's good. Now, let's just get around Williams here. Okay, now we can focus, focus on the caddy and hopefully then Davis and his, you know, his Acura. And his 1P. Careful. I feel like Rossi isn't even that bad in the context of uh, racing me. I think the biggest dickhead of all, to me, has been, uh, oh, what the fuck is his name? It's one of the European drivers. I can't remember his name right now, son of a bitch. Esposito, that's it. That guy's a fucking douche, anyways. Rossi's just a fun rival at this point. Alright, now. Can I use my now restricted power? And general okayness at this track to uh, close this gap? And take victory in true upset fashion? The car is actually a P2 car this time. Me thinks me can. I 
Let's see. Yep. Eight tenths faster than Davis that lap. I can do this. Field sections where I just have to push, 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 and get that gap as small as possible. Hoping I can get within slipstream range this time down the uh, straight. That'll help me out a lot. But I don't think I'm gonna quite get there. Well, within range for now. As we round the kink, I am no longer within range, okay. Still close the gap, though. One second flat at the line. Three laps to go. I think I already closed those four tenths that I lost down the front. Judge, judging by visual distance. Yes, I diddly did. Eight tenths in one sector. A little mal. Oh god. Very wide at the hairpin. It's fine, it's all fine. Come on, gotta hit the second apex. Gotta hit it, man. Two to go. That's a very good shot. I just have to be uh, very careful about the actual overtake as to not, you know, destroy my car. Which I'm apparently very good at doing. I mean, this is very high speed. High risk, high reward. Actually, not even that high of a reward, just very high risk. Steer, how you doing? The fuck is up? I could go for a dive if I don't fuck up the chicane. Didn't fuck it up. Here we go. For the lead. Of course, he's going to be all up on me down the straightaway here. So he's got the power. I mean, he is in a P1 car, and I'm in a, you know, lowly P2 car. Okay, final lap around the peninsula. Slipstreaming. It's actually helping my speed a lot, and keeping up with them thanks to the slipstream. Oh, shit. That was very risky going down the inside, but... Paid off for me some the fuck how. There we go. We got the lead. Now we just have to, uh, not throw the race away, as I'm currently trying to do. It's going to be the upset since I, uh, you know, put the restrictors back on. Hello, Foxy. So, yeah. Actually did put the restrictor back on this thing. So now it's a true P2 car. It's also why I started third, by the way. And not second. Because I uh, re-restricted re the engine. Ooh, almost lost out of the last turn. Well, 
the last important turn. This is, you know, I win. I ween and I ween and I ween. I get the fastest lap by almost a second. So there we go. P2 upsets P1. Take that, nerd. Acting like this is the uh, like the the later years of the American Le Mans series where there was only like one P1 entry, and the rest was P2. Nice. So there we go. Two races or three races down, two to go. Okay. I swear to God, if this race turns into one of those ones where it's like, first try, I barely miss out on the victory. Just barely. And then, like, it takes me 15 trillion attempts over five hours to even get close to having a chance again. If this race turns into one of those, I'm not going to be happy at all. Just saying that. I mean, we're only on attempt three, so... You know, stuff. So, yeah. Oh, Davis goes wide here, okay. He does that sometimes. Just goes wide in that turn. With this car. Not entirely sure why, he just does. First lap out of the way. It's time to attack. went off that time. Come on, stay tucked into that slipstream. Whoa. That doesn't mean swerve back and forth like a drunken idiot, me. And around. That was easy and effortless and painless. Very good. Hooray, morning stream for the European crowd. Since, you know, I'm streaming, it's like, what, almost 1.30 a.m. for me? Hooray! Get out of the grass. It's not where this car belongs. All right, here comes Davis. How's this chicane gonna turn out? Please do not kill me. Thank you for not being close enough to kill me. So having Davis just kind of lurking behind me like that is a little intimidating, but... Doesn't matter. That was bad. Oh, 
whoa, 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 careful car. Careful me. Should say. Okay, he's closer this lap than he was last lap. Which means I have to worry. No bump, thank God. Alright, two to go. Much better run through that turn in that time. Jamar, UK is always going to be part of Europe because that's like a geographical thing. But they're leaving like the European Union soon. When the hell is that actually going to like come into effect? I don't even know. And the European Union is completely different from Europe, the continent. So, you know. them facts straight. Anyways, we're on the final lap here. I've pulled out a nice gap over Davis, so I don't have to worry about him. So long as I actually hit my marks, which took this a little wide. Both in entry and exit. That's still too far ahead for Davis to do anything about me. So nice and smooth through the final chicane. And there we go. Took uh, two more attempts than it should have, but hey, got the win. That's all that matters. And Miller in the Cadillac, finishing on the podium here. Very good. Beating out all the other P2 Acuras. Nice. So, that just leaves one race to go in this series, so off to Sebring. Once again, foiled by the wall. The inside wall. Ah, shit. Okay, Taylor parked it on the launch. Means I can do this. Just swoops right on through. As Taylor just goes back. Oh, God. Well, there goes the front of my car. I guess it's now or never. 24%, son of a bitch. I'm going to have to drive like this throughout the entire race now. Or drive with this. Which means, hey, I can't corner. The understeer, the understeer. Oh, hey, helping. Another helping. Okay, well, if I can block the shit out of Williams, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be doing this. Oh, hey, there's a turn here. What's up? Oh, shit, what up? It's that boy. Anyways, what the f I, I was too, like, uh, distracted by Miller. I'm the only P2 car here that can beat the P1, motherfucker. 
Oh, as Miller passes Davis. Man, Davis is just having a shit race, thanks to me. Kind of pushed him out of the way. So, you know. So now it's a uh, Acura. Actually, Cadillac is a P1 car, so. Eh. It's just, you know, a different P1 car. Now in second. Oh, there goes Davis going for the move. Trying to just out accelerate him. Which I don't think he did very well. And also something happened and he's now fallen to almost fourth. Very nearly got passed by Williams. Oh, yeah, Williams. Okay, so um everything's going crate everything's going wrong for Davis in this attempt. Hooray. At least it's not me this time, although I definitely fucked up. But, you know, I started the struggles for Davis with that uh shunt into the the tight right. So still my fault. Even if it was an accidental shunt. Jesus, my lap times have suffered so much with this damage. Like, I'm like almost two seconds a lap slower. Holy shit. Actually, I'm pretty much right around two seconds a lap slower. Miller is really holding up Davis. He's just holding him up. Like, I'm sure Davis would be all up in my ass if uh, he could actually get around Miller. Get back around Miller. He keeps trying to do. He might have to run this time, but will he actually go through with it? And the answer is no. He just parks his car every time heading into Sunset Bend. Rinse, repeat. The next lap. Okay. Oh, I have a three second lead over. Oh, Davis took second from Miller somewhere, somehow. While well, I wasn't looking. Just kind of happened, okay. Well, the time for relaxation is over. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. I think that's how that goes. It's been so long since I've, you know, watched Speed Racer that I don't know how the frickin' intro jingle, or yeah, intro theme go. Shut up, me. You know what I'm trying to say. He is closing this gap quickly. Very quickly. It's gonna go over here so he doesn't ha uh, get to slipstream me. Bastard. He's fast enough, he doesn't need my help. I like how as soon as he got around Miller, just completely left him in the dust. Okay, final lap.
do not touch that wall. I almost touched the wall. That would have been very, very bad, and I would have cried. I hear you. Oh, God, he's right on my ass. We are nowhere near out of the woods here. In fact, we are still balls deep in this shit. Time to block. My name is Max Verstappen, and you shall not pass me, fucker. Got a better run through Sunset Bend. Okay, that took way, way too many tries. <laughs> but I'm a stubborn asshole, and I wanted to win without the restrict or with the restrictor. So. <laughs> There we go, finally won. Even with damage. <sighs> Alright, so that is the end of the North American tour, finally. It's also the end of the semi-pro section of the event list. Yay! It's about goddamn time. So... Collect our 33 grand. And there we go. North America tour complete. Semi pro fucking complete. It's four sections down. It's next up on Forza 3. We begin the professional section with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're doing some one make racing next time, so uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs>